Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Ding Liren. This is a game from Magnus Carlsen Invitational Rapid Tournament 2020. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with e4. Ding Liren played c5, the Sicilian defense, and now f4, going for the McDonnell attack. g6, knight to f3, bishop to g7, c3, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, d3 defending, knight to c6, bishop to e2, and both players castled king's side. Black to move. d6 is the standard move in this position. Ding Liren played b5. Ding Liren's invention. a3 preventing b4. d6, king to h1. a5, bishop to e3. Bishop to b7, knight from b to d2, b4. Queen to c2, connecting rooks. e6, a takes on b4, a takes on b4. Rook takes rook on a8, queen takes on a8. Knight to c4, attacking the pawn. Black to move. Queen to b8 was played. Rook to d8 should have been considered. You will see shortly why. Back to our game, we have a queen to b8, e5, knight to d5, attacking the bishop, bishop to g1, d takes on e5, bishop takes pawn on c5, attacking the rook, black to move, knight takes on f4, the exchange sacrifice for the initiative, let's take it back, perhaps rook to d8 was expected, and then f takes on e5. White is standing slightly better. Back to our game we have a knight takes on f4. Bishop takes a rook. Bishop takes bishop. Rook to e1. Black to move. Perhaps if black wanted to play g5, f6 was expected. There was a surprise. g5 upon sacrifice. White to move. Should white take on g5 or not. It looks like that Carlsen didn't want to calculate too hard, so he played bishop to f1. Pretty good move for a rapid game. Let's take it back. If knight takes on g5, then knight takes on g2, threatening this cover check. So if king takes on g2, black wins. But let's take it back. In this position, white had d4. And now black is in trouble. White is threatening a check mate. If f5, then rook to g1. After knight to h4, bishop to f3. And white is better. Back to our game. Like I said, bishop to f1 is easier to calculate. Nothing to calculate. f6, queen to f2, knight to e7. Knight from f to d2, knight to f5, knight to e4, queen to d8, white to move, queen to b6, attacking the bishop and offering to trade queens. Queen takes queen, knight takes queen. With queens off the board, black has a slim chance. The game continued. King to g7, knight to c4. White is standing better. Black can't make a progress. Knight to h4 was played. Tempting. White to play g3. White to move. How would you continue? Carlsen played the best move and that is rook to a1. Even g3 is okay. After g3, black would play f5, but then rook to a1. And after f takes on e4, rook to a7 pinning and winning. Back to our game. Rook to a1, no risk, intending rook to a7, pinning and winning the bishop. King to g6, rook to a7, bishop to d5, g3 now, f5 as planned, knight takes on e5, check, king to h6, white play the move and black designed, and the move is c4. Ding Liren designed. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Bishop takes on e4. 
D takes on E4. In one of the knights must leave the arena. If knight from H goes to G6, G takes on F4, knight takes on F4, pawn takes pawn on F5, pawn takes pawn on F5, bishop to D3, knight takes on D3, knight takes knight, and the C pawn is marching. I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.